hello and welcome to your favorite channel in today's video we are going to learn about ICH stability guideline which is covered under ICH topic Q1A R2 so why stability testing is required stability testing is required to provide evidence on how the uh, quality of drug substance or drug product varies with time under influence of variety of conditions such as temperature, humidity and light. Stability testing is performed to establish a retest period for the drug substance or a shelf life for the drug product and stability testing is used to establish storage condition for the drug product there are different stability zones you might have heard about it so these zones are categorized based on the mean kinetic temperature in that particular region accordingly the world is divided into four zones zone 1 2 3 4 Zone 4 is further subcategorized as zone 4A and 4B. You can learn more about these stability zones in the articles which is reference here. So here are the representation of different uh, stability zones and their mean kinetic temperature and relative humidity in that in particular region so zone 1 is tem uh, called temperate zone the mean kinetic temperature in this uh, uh, region is 21 degrees celsius and relative humidity is 45 degrees celsius geographic areas in zone 1 are europe canada and parts of russia the countries covered under this zone are canada germany russia zone 2 is mediterranean or subtropical zone the mean kinetic temperature in this zone is 25 degrees celsius and relative humidity is 60 degrees celsius the geographic areas covered are parts of australia usa mediterranean region the examples of the countries which are covered under zone 2 are australia afghanistan bulgaria chile france greece italy Israel, Japan, Nepal, New Zealand, Turkey and Zimbabwe. Then third one is uh, zone 3 which is called hot and dry zone. The mean kinetic temperature in this zone or region is 30 degrees Celsius and relative humidity is very low that is 35 percent. The geographic areas under this zone are parts of North Africa and Middle East. The countries covered under the zone are Bos Botswana, Iraq, Jordan. Then the um, zone 4 is called hot, humid and tropical zone. The mean kinetic temperature in this region is 30 degrees Celsius and relative humidity is 65%. The geographic areas under this zone are parts of Southeast Asia and central africa which you can also see on the world map the zone 4b is called hot and higher humidity zone where temp mean kinetic temperature is 30 degrees celsius and relative humidity is 75 percent geographic areas under this zone is asian and african regions near the ecuador or the dense rainforest areas so countries under zone 4 are bahrain bangladesh brazil congo cuba ecuador ghana guyana hong kong india indonesia kenya malaysia myanmar oman pakistan qatar south of arabia sri lanka uae vietnam etc So now uh, we'll focus on the stability studies of the drug product. So formal stability testing 
is uh, recommended in the ICH guideline and it should be based on the knowledge of the behavior and properties of drug substance and from this stability studies on the drug substance and on experience gained from the clinical formulation studies so this means that the the stability conditions required for the drug product should be based on the knowledge gained from the stability study of the active pharmaceutical ingredients or drug substance as well as the knowledge gained from the clinical formulation studies the photostability testing should be conducted on at least one primary batch of the product so for uh, uh, submission at least one batch stability testing is uh, uh, or one batch photostability testing is required the stability testing should be performed on at least three primary batches so uh, for filing minimum three batch stability data is required the batches should be manufactured to a minimum of pilot scale you cannot submit the stability data of R&D scale for submission you have to submit the data of minimum three pilot scale batches where possible the batches of the drug product should be manufactured using different batches of the drug substance this is uh, to cover the variability in the drug substance. The stability study should be performed on each individual strength and container size of the drug's product unless bracketing or matrixing, matrixing is applied. So there are um, a separate guideline on bracketing and matrixing which we will cover in a separate video. So unless uh, your stability protocol design is uh, based on bracketing or matrixing, you have to test all strains of the drug product. The stability study should be conducted on the dosage form packed in a container closure system which is proposed for marketing. So only those container closure systems on which stability study is performed can be marketed. The stability studies should include testing of those attributes of the drug substance that are susceptible to change during storage and are likely to influence quality, safety and or efficacy of drug product. For example, if there can be degradation of the drug substance in the drug product so relative uh, related substances testing is performed on stability similarly the potency the microbiological attributes which can change on storage are uh, need to be tested on the stability on the other hand the quality attributes such as uniformity of dosage units is not expected to change on storage so such quality attributes can be omitted in the stability testing the stability testing should cover as appropriate the physical chemical biological or microbiological attributes in case of uh, antibiotics or certain well, like enzymatic products biological attributes are critical and need to be tested during these stability studies so now we'll uh, see the formal stability testing this stability testing guideline is based on the zone 1 and zone 2 uh, uh, requirement basically uh, for which covers major of the uh, Europe, USA and Japan regions and for these regions the long term stability for the general case is defined as uh, uh, 
the storage condition of 25 degrees celsius plus minus 2 degrees celsius and relative humidity of 60 plus minus 5 percent is considered as a long term condition and minimum stability data required for the submission is 12 months of data the maximum study duration varies depending on the desired uh, shelf life of the product the testing frequency for the long term uh, stability should include every 3 months over the first period, first year for example 3 months 6 months 9 months and 12 months then every 6 months for the second year and annually thereafter the intermediate stability condition is defined as 30 degrees celsius plus minus 2 degrees celsius and the rh of 65 percent plus or minus 5 percent minimum stability data required at the time of submission is six months of intermediate stability and the maximum duration expected for submission is 12 months of data minimum of four time points including initial and final time points for example 0 6 9 and 12 months are required for filing for accelerated stability condition the storage condition defined is for 40 degrees celsius plus or minus 2 degrees celsius and the rh condition is 75 percent plus or minus 5 percent minimum stability data required at the time of filing is six months and maximum uh, uh, data expected for on accelerated stability is also six months and here minimum three time points for example zero three and six months of data is expected for regulatory submission then uh, for the products which are required to be store, stored under refrigerated condition the long term condition becomes 5 degrees celsius plus or minus 3 degrees celsius which is 2 to 8 degrees celsius the minimum <coughs> data required for submission is 12 months of long term data here again just like uh, earlier case uh, the testing frequency is every three months for the first year every six months for the second year and annually thereafter in this case the uh, accelerated condition becomes 25 degrees celsius plus or minus 2 degrees celsius and rh of 60 percent plus or minus 5 percent minimum stability data required is six months and the study duration should also be six months here the expectation is minimum three time points should be covered on the accelerated stability if significant change occurs between three and six month testing at the accelerated storage condition the proposed retest period should be based on the real time data or uh, here in in this uh, in case of drug product the shelf life uh, shall be based on the real time uh, data And in case significant change occurs within three months testing at the accelerated condition, a discussion should be provided to address the effect of short-term excursion outside the label storage conditions. Then and there are uh, products which, uh, which are packed in the impermeable containers. In such cases, there is a uh, no impact of uh, the external humidity condition is expected on the content of the uh, packed duct product uh, there is no risk of loss of solvent such products because the container provides uh, a permanent barrier to the passage of moisture or solvent in these cases, stability studies can be conducted under any controlled or ambient humidity condition. 
whereas for drug products which are packed in semi permeable containers the aqueous based products packed in such containers should be evaluated for potential water or solvent loss in addition to the physical chemical and biological um, or microbiological stability the evaluation can be carried out under conditions of low relative humidity <laughs> so for uh, long term uh, stability condition the storage condition becomes 25 degree celsius plus or minus 2 degree and the rh is 40 plus minus 5 instead of 60 and the minimum time period covered is 12 months uh, the intermediate condition becomes 30 degree celsius plus or minus 2 and rh is 65 percent minimum study duration is six months and the accelerated condition here again the rh is still lower the accelerated condition is 40 degree celsius and 25 percent rh stability study duration is six months and for such containers which are uh, such uh, drug products which are packed in semi permeable containers the solvent loss or uh, moisture loss is tested under these condition in addition to the formal stability studies so that's all from for today's video hope you like the content keep watching and if you are not subscribed to this video you know, or this channel please subscribe do not forget to like and share with your friends thank you for watching see you in the next video